Good morning. Hey, it's Tuesday and I'm out on the Willoway docks today. Let's take a walk through the dock. Well, first up we've seen last week and this week, man, a lot of container trees, field trees are being shipped, getting those out into the garden center. You can see here we got some great looking plant material. Next up here we have Ramnus Fine Line in three gallons. Great looking full plants there. Now we're coming down to the Rubus. These are baby cakes. This is a blackberry. They're all trimmed up. They'll break up nicely and give you a nice uh, selection of fruit for the summer. And here we have our Mr. Bowling Ball. Next up we have three gallon Syringa Myri. These are three gallon plants here. You can see they're nicely budded. Big stocky three gallons. Syringa Myri. We'll see a lot of these on the dock in the weeks to come. These are the hellebores. You can see here they're heavily budded. Great looking plants. Next up we have a two gallon. This is uh, Physocarpus Tiny Wine from Proven Winners. Again, nice big heavy two gallon plant. Now we're looking at uh, some hydrangea. These are paniculatas. This is vanilla strawberry in a three gallon from First Editions. Again, lots of nice canes. The guys trimmed them back for you. You want to trim them back so they keep uh, that nice heavy structure to support those big blooms. And then here we're looking at uh, Quick Fire Fab. This one's going to be hot this year, guys. You want to grab them. Nice heavy three gallons. Quick Fire Fab. Another new one. This one is Limelight Prime. So this has all the great attributes on the Limelight. Shorter, more compact habit. Great looking flowers. Limelight Prime. You know, these are always popular on the dock. Here we're looking at uh, two gallon mop cycles. Great color and size. Landscapers, check these out. These are landscape gray. These are uh, five gallon Texas Pensiformis. Big, beautiful plants here. Five gallons. These are seven gallon size though. Heavy, heavy, 18 to 24. Here we have a blueberry. This is uh, Vecinium Chippewa. So we have a great selection of blueberries uh, offering for the spring. These are 19 centimeters here, loaded with buds. These are gonna produce great fruit. These are something that you wanna get. Small fruits are hot. We got a great selection for you. Basidium Chippewa. Just wanna give you a peek at some three gallon Alberta spruce. Great shape, size, and form. Coming over here, three gallon magnolias are always hot. Those flowers are still tight, but we'll start to see those break in here real soon. And then coming down here, we have some Expert Azaleas. Look at this order of uh, Cully Birch. You know, river birch is very adaptable. You can see here, nice, straight, multiple canes on these. Good value. Check these out. The guys are busy in the fields digging, man. These are two inch uh, Circus Ruby Falls. Nice, heavy plants there, guys. Be sure to check out that B&B availability. We got some fantastic big specimens on sale, too. Well, hey, we're starting to see some color here. Here we have three gallons of Prosythia show off. You can see those buds are starting to open up. We're seeing a little light color there. We'll see some more as the weeks progress. So, three gallon of Prosythia. Be sure to get those on your orders for shipment. Here we're looking at seven gallon. Here we have blue points. Great looking plants here, guys. These are always hot here. We're looking at uh, blue star junipers. These are three gallons, but we also have some nice tubes. You'll see these as a staple on the dock all season long. You know, this one entered the market as a boxwood blight resistant series of uh, plants. Here we're looking at independence, nice, full, heavy, three gallons. We have both independence and freedom. New gen boxwood. Here we have uh, the 19 centimeter drift roses. The guys trimmed them up, looking good. Here we're looking at some Magilla. Again, these have been nipped back here, taking all the the old wood off, they're going to look great. This is Wajella Tuxedo, which has that dark, rich foliage. Nice color contrast to the bloom. This is in a Blooming Easy program. Wajella Tuxedo. Then coming over here, look at these monsters. Here we have our five gallon Buxus Winter Gem. Nice size and value there. Coming over here, we're looking at our three gallon. These are Juniper Old Golds. Again, very nice size and color. Then coming back, you can see the consistency here on the two gallon crop. These are blue star juniper. Again, in the background there, you see a lot of the paniculatas. Those are more of those vanilla strawberries. Then coming here, here we have those uh, Mr. Bowling Balls in three gallons. 
fantastic crop of three gallon hollies, guys. Good value on these. Great color plant for early season. You guys are busy here. We're looking at Easy Elegance Roses. Great series of plants there. Very hardy, fantastic blooms. Again, more of the paniculatas. And coming over here, look at that nice color on the Fuja Fire Chief. Believe it or not, that's three gallon Wilmer. Or, uh, you know, this dwarf type compact holly has a lot of uses in the landscape. Very nice. Well, I'm just going to pan through here again. Lots of trees going out on the dock today. More of those uh, blue hollies. This one's blue princess here in threes we've seen earlier. Here we have an Ilex Cornada. This one is soft touch. Very nice three gallons. Here we have some more drifts. These are the two gallons. Again, the guys trim back the roses. In the background there, you see the knockout roses. And we trim them back. So, you know, all the work's done for you. They're starting to, to shape up. I mean, these things will break and look fantastic and be loaded with color all season long. Look at the color in those uh, Euonymus Gold Splash. Then coming here, we have some Trellis Wisteria. Those are Amethyst Falls. And then a peak at our seven gallon. These are skyrocket junipers in our grow bag system. You know, these are grown in the field and they got the bag on them. And all you have to do is pull that out of the pot, cut the bag off, and you'll have fantastic results. Skyrocket juniper grow bags. More of the blueberries. These are the bushel and berry. This one's pink ice. And, uh, you know, the new growth on that will have that peachy pink color there. And then over here, we're looking at three gallon. This is a betula. This is called Chechki's Gold. So this is a dwarf, tight, compact growing birch for tight spaces. It has a great chartreuse shallow foliage on it. Check that one out. Chechki's gold. You can see these fruit trees are very hot. Here we're looking at some cherries again. Lots of nice fruit trees coming up in these seven gallons. Heavily branched plants. You know, you can't miss out on these. These are going to produce fruit very quickly for you. Give you a nice structure. And coming down again, you can see those random pine lines are also very hot trees. Look at the nice size and uniformity on those three gallon nut spruce. Very good value there. Back up more holly. Here we're looking at China Girl. So they shape those up, knock the feathers off. They're going to break and look fantastic for you. Good value. That's a three gallon too. Then coming over here, you know, some of these things are sold, but if you got them on order, you definitely want to get that. This one is uh, Thuja Tater Top. Nice tight compact globe. Thuja from the Proven Winners. And here we're looking at three gallon blue points. And I'm going to back up here so you can see the size on those seven gallon Hetz columnaris. Good landscape plant there. And then kind of just panning around here, you can see those forsythia are starting to crack some color. Here we're looking at uh, seven gallon. These are Temiyukiyama. These are the weeping lace leaf reds. Yeah, nice head size of those. Good value. Coming down here, we're looking at three gallon Syringa dark purple. Wow, look at that. That's a three gallon. I'm going to peek at our three gallon. This is uh, Bucks' Green Velvet, another very popular boxwood. Good, nice size, consistency to that crop. Backing up here, we have three gallon Syringa. This is Centauria. Just another peek. I mean, we got a nice order here on those uh, 19 centimeter, one gallon drift roses. You can see all the nice plants here, trimmed up, consistent, ready to go. So again, these are sold, but I just want to give you a peek. Here we have our seven gallon. This is Magnolia Royal Star. So the magnolias, you can see, are starting to break bud sheath. Definitely want to get these in very soon. Seven gallon Acer Blood Good. This is a favorite. Very hardy uh, Japanese maple. Nice branching structure on these. Spirea. Here we're looking at the double play. This one is red. And you can see all the spirea are nicely shaped, trimmed back for you. Here we're looking at Spiria Renaissance. And then coming over, look at the size. These are Dutia Yuki Snowflake. You know, that whole series, whether you know you got Snowflake and you got Cherry Blossom, so you got a white and pink, or good value in these two gallons. Just a peek, three gallon azaleas. I know, again, I'm teasing you a bit. They are sold. If you are getting them in, definitely want to have a place to protect those, though, in case we get a, you know, a late freeze or frost. Nice heavy threes. And then coming back around, you can see how popular, again, those new gen boxwood are. This is our three gallon independence. Here we have three gallon. These are green mountains. Again, good value on these. Heavy 18, 24 inch tip. 
good shape to these. The guys work very hard. You can see how nice and full and, and great, uh, great value on these. Here we go. These really light up, man. They, they're great in the landscape, and you know you can see here the color on these three-gallon fire trees. Got some three-gallon. These are Spirea Tor. Again, the guys shape these up nicely for you. This one is a very hardy three-gallon Spirea. And then we're coming over here, more of the double plays again, all ready to go, trimmed, looking good. Here we have a three gallon, this is Ilex Densi. We also have Green Magic, very similar. Look at the size of that three gallon Ilex Blade. A few more lilacs to look at. Again, we got some tight buds on these. Hold it very tight. Got plenty of time to get those in, but you know, this is the, the color and the scent of spring, right? A new Salix, and uh, you can see the, the beautiful catskins coming out there. Nice color, they're starting to color up to a pink shade. Very nice. This is Salix Aso, brand new plant. Another closer peek at those seven gallon Acer Tim Yukianas. Nice heads for those. Two gallon Potentilla Goldfinger, again, just starting to break out. Trimmed up, shaped nicely. Coming back here, more lilacs. I believe this one is. Uh, Bulgaris Alba, and then nice heavy canes to these three gallon lilacs. A lot of those three gallon limelight primes going out on the dock here. Then coming back, a new, uh, newer Cornus. This is Cornus um, Arctic Yellow. Look at that beautiful yellow color to those. You know, it's going to have the green foliage, white flower, and these gorgeous yellowing canes throughout the, the late fall. So it, it tends to kind of green up through the summer and they turn this vibrant yellow toward fall and cooler temperature. Cornus, Arctic Yellow. Again, we see the Texas Captains. These are those big 15 gallon landscape ready plants. So, just to give you a price point, here we have our three gallon Texas Captain. Again, nice value to those. You can see how heavy those are. Every bet, tipping 24 plus. And then coming over here, we have our three gallon. This is Viburnum Mohawk. Unusual new plant here. We have Thuja Frankie Boy in a three gallon. Another peek at those three gallon Blue Point Junipers. Nice shape of those guys. Then coming over here, we're looking at some of our pom pom junipers. The guys did a great job forming those. Good spacing on the palms. And then these big three gallon Procumbens Nana. Holy smokes, these are great little plants. My favorite for landscaping are the three gallon sea greens. Nice size. Very popular three gallon Thuya. This one is North Pole from Proven Winners. Stays that real nice columnar habit. Good value on these threes. You guys are checking in some Sambucas Black Tower. These are the more upright Sambucas with a nice deep rich uh, foliage to them. Then coming over here we're looking at three gallon. Bring a Miss Kim, another landscape favorite. Nice heavy canes for these guys. Wow, you can see how quickly this dock is loading up, man. They're getting ready to put these plants on trucks today. You know, busy week on the dock as people start to stock up the garden stuff. Here we're looking at some more paniculatas. These are quick fire and limelight in the one gallon size. And this is a great price point, you know, to get started. These are fantastic for containers or the landscape at a great price point. You know, these are delivered to the garden centers now. I'm going to pull one of these five gallon dogwoods off the, the pallet here to show you. Look at that nice branching structure. And then they also have buds on them. Again, gorgeous uh, seasonal color in the dogwoods. Check out our dogwoods in five gallons. This one happens to be cloud nine. Another magnolia. This one is Anne. So typically the, the red magnolias are a little bit later in the season. You can see here they're still loaded with buds. Looking good. Then coming down here, we have our three gallon mop cypress. So we've seen the twos, which is a fantastic value, but if you need something a little larger, try our threes or sevens. Here we're looking at x berries again. A lot of x berries shipping out. This one happens to be Gibraltar. This is that big fire orange plant. You can see heavy, stocky threes, lots of buds. Well, I told you the new gens are popular. Look at this load here. You know, they're Shipping out by the, the rack load here. This one happens to be Freedom. Again, we've seen Independence uh, earlier. Great plants, good value. Twos and threes. Oh, more paniculatas here. We're looking at three gallon Bobo. Again, the guys trim them up for you. 
You want to do that, trim them back, get that nice stocky start so they hold up all the blossoms continually blooming throughout the season. Three gallon bobos. Another peek at a paniculata. This is Little Lime Punch. Man, does this one really have a show of collar last year that would just turn your head. Just had to stop at this cart and remind you on the American Beauties, you know, native plants are hot. Everybody's looking to, to plant more of the native plants and pollinators, and this year, this native uh, American Beauties program is going to be a, a trend. Be sure to get your orders in. I just want to pull one of these three gallon prunus sestina. We've seen those last week. Big, heavy three gallons. More of the hellebores. Man, they're all over the dock the past couple weeks. Everybody getting them in. You know, this is a great plant for early spring color. Great ground cover as far as foliage and naturalizing. Deer resistant. Nice plants, guys. Be sure to get your hellebores in. Closer peek at those axe berries. Again, this one is Gibraltar. Look at the bud count on those. Another peak, three gallon Albertas. We also have twos, you know, tight on the market, but you can see we have some nice ones. Here again are those one gallon proven winners shipping out. Fantastic value on these guys. Good price point to help, uh, help you know, offer different price points in your garden center. Again, blueberries everywhere. This one is uh, Jersey, and this one is Blue Crop. Again, these are commercially grown Varieties, they're going to produce nice, big, heavy crops of fruit, healthy, right in your yards. This one also offers great landscape value. You know, blueberries give you the early spring color and fantastic fall color. A peek at those blue points. Oh my goodness, those are nice. These are seven gallon blue points. Seven gallon limelight trees. Again, hate to tease you, these are probably sold, but if you got them on order, you can see nice, heavy heads to these. Good value. Here's a peek at the Yuki Cherry Blossom. Again, nice heavy two gallon on the Duzias. Good early spring color. This is the Riope Silvery Sunproof. Many of the perennials are just starting to break. We'll see so many more perennials in the weeks ahead. So I would concentrate on getting a lot of your base plants in here, getting things set up. People are gonna be out soon. Another great texture plant. This is Thuja Whipcord. Very unusual texture. Beautiful. Well, again, you can see here the guys are bringing in uh, more of those uh, weeping red buds. I think these are Ruby Falls again. Gorgeous field product coming out. We're getting ready to load up, ship out a lot of B&B. &B. Be sure to get with uh, our sales team, get your load scheduled. Here we have a new one to show you. This was Emerald Petite. So this is an Emerald Green Arborvitae tight, compact habit. You can see how much more compact and tight these are. These are three gallons. Again, limited quantities on these and they may be sold, but if you got them, these are good. And then here we're looking at Sambuca's Black Lace. Heavy, heavy canes. Here we have Itia, Little Henry. You know, the thing with Itia is, we get them in a the house early, they don't drop their foliage, so I wouldn't be concerned on the foliage. We'll get them out in the garden center, they'll drop foliage, break, look fantastic. More of the Drift Roses and three gallon Knockouts, and here we're looking at three gallon uh, hydrangea corsifolialis. So look at those 25 gallon, those are uh, Metasequoia Amber Glow. And then I'm coming down here, another Ilex Crenata. This one is Patio, so this is a little more upright variety of Crenata. More trees going into the truck here. We have some 15 gallon Ginkgo. I want to give you a peek again at these two gallon Euonymus. This one happens to be Gady. Look at the value and color on those. Two gallon you want to escape. Here, I just wanted to stop here at this house and show you the two gallon yucca filamentosa. Holy smokes, look at the value in these two gallon plants. Great texture in the landscape, guys. Two gallon yucca filamentosa. So last week I showed you the Euonymus. I want to give you a little bit closer look. This one is Euonymus moon shadow in a two gallon. It's the yellow and green variegated. You know, they're going to color up quite a bit once they get a little more light here. Heavy two gallons, color all season long. Two gallon you want them moon shadow. Again, walking through the houses here, I just had to show you the consistency and size on these Dutzia. These happen to be two gallon. This is Yuki Snowflake. Well, I wanted to stop by and uh, show you again the Sedum Flaming Carpet Flats. 
So there's three configurations, and uh, here we're looking at the red. There's one that has a little more uh, of the steel blue color, one maybe with a little more yellow. But uh, this is a very versatile plant for you. These are grown in full flats, they're not in cells. And uh, you know, if you got that troublesome hillside, you're tired of mowing, you know, this would be a fantastic thing for that. They're also great along a walk or patio and for crafts and, and containers. Quite frankly, you could just break off a section of this, put it in the pot. You've got easy care, drought resistant color. Check these out. Sedum, flaming carpet. These are the flats. Well, that's a quick walk through the dock here. You can see, you know, they're really getting busy loading up trucks. Had a great week this week. Continuing into the, the next week with a lot of restocking wholesale yards and garden centers. Spring's here. Be sure to get your plants on the order. Geez, I hope we're loading this truck for you.